Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and in this video, I want to start talking a little bit about LaTeX. So, LaTeX is a really, really cool thing. It's a small language. It is, it is. I guess you can consider it a programming language uh, because you can actually run system commands and stuff like that if you get into that. Um, but it is a document preparation system for a high-quality typesetting. It's used for cool, pretty, beautiful, professional documents, and really any kind of any kind of publishing. So you can get a lot more information about it online, obviously, um, but let's get to writing some of it. I'm, of course, going to be doing everything in Sublime Text, because that is my weapon of choice, and Sublime Text is awesome because you can find a package that will make LaTeX writing really, really easy for you. We can Control shift p to get the uh, command palette up, and then install a package. The one that I want is LaTeX Tools. And then, now that it's been installed, we should be able to build and create LaTeX, LaTeX documents within Sublime Text extremely easily. Extremely easily. So I'm going to make a directory uh, called LaTeX Tutorials. Uh, and just in there, I'll just put all of the tutorials and the things that we actually write in that code. So I'll put that in LaTeX Tutorials. It can be 0001 Hello World. And uh, all LaTeX documents end with a .tex or tech file extension. So the syntax for it is interesting. We use a backslash to denote things that we actually want LaTeX, the language to set up and build for us. So in this case, we're specifying a document class. That's the first thing we always need. Um, files for Beagles. I don't really care about that. Thank you, though. Um, and well, this will always be representative of the structure and the skeleton of a basic LaTeX article or document. So the syntax for that, in this case, is an article. That's probably what you'll see most commonly. I'm sure there are other settings for the document class, but that really builds and sets up the page for us. Now, to actually create the document, we need what's called a LaTeX environment. And those, the syntax for that is a backslash begin to note that we want something that's actually a, a, a LaTeX environment there. And it follows that same structure of a backslash, command name, and then any arguments that we kind of give that will be passed in within these curly braces here. And we'll begin, document is the name of the environment you want to use. That will always be passed into the arguments for that begin clause. And then we'll end that document as well. Now, anything that we supply inside here is actually just going to be passed in like information the actual contents of our document. So I'll say hello world, just like that. If I control B to build it, boom! We get this nice little engine that's building our PDF for us, and it creates a document. Really, really simple. Doesn't have anything in it right now other than that simple hello world that we just created. Extremely easy, right? Super simple stuff. So a lot of this information, the stuff that I'm going to be drawing on, it comes from the Learn LaTeX stuff. It's available all online. So learn LaTeX. It's latex-tutorial.com. You can read the tutorial, and it'll bring you through some awesome stuff. Kind of a, uh, a good guide for learning really interesting stuff in LaTeX. But LaTeX itself is pretty simple and pretty easy. It goes through syntax, kind of just like what I just did. And then you can actually do other stuff and get a, more, get a little bit more in-depth in the environment and the, all the other conceptual stuff behind LaTeX. Another thing they show off is a title page, and we can totally set that up as well. We can say title, welcome to LaTeX, and looks like it takes syntax for date, which it should give us by default, I think, and the author in this case can be myself. And now we can do make title. We can run that within our document environment, just like they're doing in the demonstration over here. I don't know if you can see that that well. I'll blow that up for you. Run this now, control B, and we get our title. Welcome to LaTeX. My, myself is the author, and it does generate the date for us, although we can specify it, because it'll just take the current day that you build this as it. We can specify it any time else. Like, it should be 2015, 3, 26, I don't care. If I run this, it gives us a date that we specify. Not bad, but let's use it the current day. And that's pretty much it. They actually use a new page, because you can see in the PDF that I've just generated, the document is still within uh, the title right there. But if we wanted to specify a new page, just like they do, now when we control B to display this, we get Welcome to LaTeX, John Hammond, Hello World on a separate page in our PDF file. It's pretty much all that they cover. 
they actually, oh, okay, they do remove that, uh, those page numbers. I didn't know if I want to show that off to you, but we certainly can if it's in the LaTeX. I'll just do a little demonstration. You'll notice in our LaTeX document, we have a page number here, plus it's specifying this title page as our first page, but that's not really what we want. <laughs> if it's a title page, it shouldn't have a, a, a number there. So we can remove page numbering. We can have it go away temporarily for this page. We can have it gobble. And now, because we've ran that setting, there are no page numbers in our document. But if we wanted to turn it back on right after our title page, just like they do in the explanation over there, we can pass in Arabic, and that will just represent the actual Roman, uh, I'm sorry, Arabic numbers, one, etc., etc. Build this one. Now, our title page does not have a page number, but our next page does have a page number. Simple stuff. If we wanted to, we can set this up outside. I think it's page numbering empty... I think that's it. Nope, I'm wrong. Let's see what that is. LaTeX. Do a little bit of research. How to suppress page numbers. Okay, it looks like it's page style. Is it this page style, or is it just entirely page style? Okay, page style outside of the environment. Apparently does not work. Huh. This page style... Doesn't do anything at all. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they're showing off page number and gobble. Okay, it looks like they're going through the same understanding that we are within the LaTeX document. Regardless, we don't have to worry about that one. We can just use the page style or page numbering syntax to gobble to get rid of a page numbering and then Arabic to turn it back on. Or we could just leave it off. Just like anything else in Sublime Text, you can, of course, supply a comment with control forward slash. So if I want to comment out all this stuff, I could control forward slash. And a comment in LaTeX is just a percent sign for a single line comment. Sure. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Simple stuff, a little bit of LaTeX, really just learning the syntax and putting it all together, but it's easy, right? You just got to know the syntax and how to set it all together. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. We do more interesting stuff.